Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld Alpha 14 Extreme Difficulty, Extreme Desert Edition. Lone Wanderer, sort of Fallout themed, although no actual permanent Fallout this time. We're just later, it's a couple hundred years later in the game, so that there's no permanent Fallout anymore. Because, wow, was that ever brutal. I will do a, a permanent Fallout game again at some point, but we'll need a different starting setup. Just the ability to sort of, like, hunker inside a little sooner. Maybe not just one person. You know, maybe try to get one person who can, like, mine really fast and someone else who can build our, our hydroponics and then just go from there. Low medicine, but we do actually have some medicine, which is nice. Because we do get injured a fair bit. Everyone's got a gun right now, right? Yeah. And we've got an extra... That's the shotgun. Cool. I'm happy about that. Picking up a little bit of food over here. Rice, potatoes. Yeah, very good. 35 completed cooked meals in there. Uh, we can haul that out of there. Make some room. We'll expand our food storage again in a second. Basically, this is just going to be food storage later on. Man, the dogs go around making a lot of noise. Some harvest failing, but there we go. Oh, we got some food again. So probably next time someone falls from the sky, we'll go in and uh, actually capture them. Try to indoctrinate them. But it's a little soon as of yet. I'm not regretting the fact that we didn't, uh, this guy over here. We will unforbid you so that your body can at least be laid to rest at some point. We are going to need more power soon, especially with the, the temperature running. It is going to be pretty harsh. We do have a geothermal within our little base here, which is kind of nice. Although it takes a long time to get the geothermal tech these days. Probably what I'll do is I'll build a couple more solar panels here next to the, uh, the wind turbine. And then a slew of batteries. We do need to get more crafting online, although right now I'm happy just, you know, breaking down some more rocks. We're going to use a lot of these over the course of the game. Uh, let me extend our little stockpile zone. Like so. Mostly for food. So that'll get deconstructed. We still want the balls constructed. What's Nikki up to right now? Playing chess? Can't blame them for that. They definitely need to keep their joy up a little higher. And re our plants. Again, really can't complain about that at all. Beauty outside isn't fantastic. I don't know what we can do about that. I mean, it's just that, just generally, it's, you know, there's nothing aiding the beauty is what's going on. Just a little bit of minus one. We'd litter the area with uh, potted plants or statues or something like that. I think we actually do have an artist, don't we? Or maybe that's one of the people we left behind. Yeah, there we go. Master Oink is actually a pretty good artist, and that's probably what he's going to start doing later on in the game. I realize I have Master Wink with a gun, gun, and he's really good at melee, but... I don't know, melee's kind of risky. And, you know, it would be nice if you could have two weapons in your hand at any given time. That actually would be nice. So we have plenty of metal we can mine nearby. We actually aren't short on steel at this time. Or we don't need steel much at this time. Any other production we'd want to set up at this time? A uh, sculptor table. Again, we can make money and we can start beautifying things quite early. Tailoring. Well, we don't have the raw materials for it. We probably do have to start growing cotton, though. Because right now, everyone's going to start to get really upset about all the tattered clothing they're wearing. And mostly, the, the problem is finding somewhere where we can grow some plants, and it's not all derp-tastic. But I guess it's fine. Let's go ahead and set up the growing area over here. So it's going to be a lot of little areas, so then I have to go and switch each and every one of them over to cotton. 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 And a little bit more. That's probably not going to be enough. But we'll just start accruing it now before we actually set up someone. The problem is, with four people, we still don't have enough time to get a dedicated tailor going around. That's the biggest issue. We have plenty of clothing, but it's going to be pretty tattered up. Actually, it's not all that bad. We, do have to, we will have to smelt it down at some point, but for now we're okay. Did you really grab a rock from there? Why would you do that? There's rocks right over here. Oh no, you're delivering the goods. Right. Yeah, okay, that's fine. <gasps> it's time for the marriage! Arbez. Now, the problem is Arbez isn't going to be able to say his vows. Because ever since he got shot in the head, um, he's been unable to talk. Or hear. So oh, maybe they've got developed sign language or something like that. I don't know. The question is, what exactly is it that is causing his inability to talk? Is it, like, actually just the speech centers that are gone? Or is it, you know, the ability to, to form sort of symbolic messages? The beginning of the marriage ceremony. Oh, is Deadmate performing it? No, just attending. I don't think anyone performed. Oh, no, those are the two people. Derp, derp. Attending, attending. These are the people actually being married. 
spectating. Oh, in all the crap that's been going on, that made and Arbez together forever, mostly in silence, and now everyone's celebrating. So that should lead to a lot of joy, which is nice for now. Oh, there you go. The dog's not attending the marriage. I'm just working. Good dog. Good girl. A lot of stones to lift over us. Now it's party time. No booze, unfortunately. We never got that going on. Hopefully soon. Marriage ceremony is done. And over here, temperature-wise... Oh, unroofed. Build a roof area. Oh, right over there. There we are. Hopefully someone will get that pretty soon. Construction isn't set the highest priority anymore. Hauling is, although hauling's not going to take forever. And then people are going to bed. We really actually need that roof installed right away. Can I, like, I, I don't think I can force it. Oh, wait, we're over here. Prioritize build roof area. Sorry, I know you need sleep. Unroofed. Prioritize build roof area. Oh, do you have to click on the walls to get it done? Oh, there we go. Indoors, there we are. Okay, and yeah, it's below freezing again. Okay, good. Whew, didn't want stuff to start rotting. That would be really bad. Oh, these two, so cute. Did we smooth this? Yeah, we smoothed that, good. We'll smooth the other room soon, too. Except maybe for Nikki's. Still wish I could sort of smooth these walls instead of having to like mine them out then build another one. But because right now, yeah, it does add to unbeauty. So that is something that I want to do at some point. I think once you've done it, like the other walls that you build don't add to beauty. They just don't detract anymore. So it's still an important part of making the bedrooms nice. And I mean, I guess in a sense, the work to smooth these walls might be the same as mine them out and then rebuilding them. But it would just feel like a handier operation to do it as one go. Dog's eating some more meals, but that's fine. It's allowed to do that. Most of the comfort levels should have mostly gotten better. We might want to reinitiate some research. Looks like some of the research is getting done from time to time. Anyway. Well, I guess Master Oink. Um, I don't know. I guess it was maybe Deadmate. I guess if you're not cooking, you might get around to the research. There's nothing to clean. It's happening slowly. We don't have need to rush it. Mostly, we're plenty busy with the stuff we've got. Unlocking more research wouldn't really do anything for us. We needed the stone cutting, though. And I'm really happy about that. That's working out really nicely. And we'll get those traps up soon, but we do have to finish the rest of this wall. At the very least, the outer one. I suppose what we could do is actually cancel this inner bit for a little while. That's going to be okay. And actually, we need to install more doors here. Um, yeah, because I was like, oh, we can just put a bunch of traps there. But no, we need a way to reset them without killing ourselves. So we need wall doors on the inner bit. So we actually are going to have to deconstruct some of this wall here. Oops. Okay, so that's all done. Good. So I can, at this point, go and get still sandstone we have the most of right now. Do that. And... Sandstone doors every two tiles. No, no, no. Do that just preemptively so I don't forget later on. So that's going to be okay. So that's, you know, a little extra work there that we didn't actually need to do, but it's not going to be too bad. Yeah, and we will have to replace this with not stone doors, because I'm worried that our people are going to be like, these doors are too slow, I'd rather walk through the traps. So we'll see. Auto rearm turned on. And then security, traps. Nah, 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 and nah, nah. Uh, all of a sudden I feel a lot safer. Because right now, people aren't coming in super armored, and a, a trap can easily one-shot someone. I mean, we've seen that happen to our own people. Traps one-shotting them. So, and we've certainly seen it happen to attackers as well. I think the more armored they are, especially if they have helmets, they're a little bit less likely to do that. I'm actually not sure about the mechanics. Another escape pod. 
game really wants me to have a fifth character. Pyra, so what are you looking like? Steadfast, you're a psychopath. You can't dumb late. no. You can research well, but I'm not gonna take someone who can't haul. Sorry. Not happening. I'm gonna get someone to go out there and strip you down. Before you die. Boop. Not even bothering rescuing you. Just stripping you down so that the clothing's not on your body anymore. I should have sent someone who can haul, because they could at least haul one piece of clothing back with them. But that's alright. It's very cruel letting them die out in the sun, but they're gonna die out faster without the clothing on for, to protect them. So I'm doing them a favor. Actually, at night, well, it's not that cold. It's only 12 degrees. I still don't have a door up over here. And I really want to stop using so many steel doors. Mr. Oink, still making blocks for us. And we'll go and bring that down after a little while here. But I don't know, having a million blocks is always going to be very, very handy. I mean, I guess at a certain point we sort of stopped doing it, but now use blocks for um, sculptures? No, I don't know, maybe use chunks. And a raid. Tribes people, they're gonna prepare for a while and then go. Did they bring animals with them? Or are those just camels that happen to be around? We should go and shoot them. Hunt the camels. Not right now, though. I'm gonna make sure that's turned off for Nikki. Where's Nikki right now? Checking out the bed, because it's the prettiest thing in the entire base. So yeah, build as many of these traps up as you can before people show up, actually. In fact, everyone who can construct, go and do that. You don't need skill to construct this stuff. So the more bulk of this we can do, the better. Everyone set up the traps, because there's no quality on traps. I think higher construction skill, you do construct faster, but that's okay. Oh, puppy, don't get too far away. They're still just hanging out over there. They're getting a little closer, which makes me a little unhappy. But isn't too bad. We still have a bit of a wall over here that we can use to shelter ourselves and use as cover. Alright, more traps. They still haven't moved. That, okay, Oof, there they come. There is a lot of them. I will say that. Uh, hold on. Is this almost done? There we go. Are you going to finish, dead mate? I don't know if you are. I'm going to get you over here. All of them. Auto rearm. Um, I forgot that you have really very short range with this gun. I don't know how useful you will be over here. But they're, they're going to have pretty short range with their bow and arrow too, so that's going to be alright. Don't arrest anyone. Alright, uh, I don't think we took out as many people as we'd like, but they are at least damaged. So it's going to increase the rate at which they fall down. Lots of people decide that smashing things is the way to go. Shooting that bow and arrow a little further than expected. Are you shooting? No. Yeah, you are! I didn't realize the PDW had such range. You're already damaged. One lucky bullet might bring down this person. That might be enough to get them to stop attacking. But I mean, I guess there's only one person attacking at a time right now. I'd actually like an opportunity to scan these people and maybe um, capture them. Stop shooting the dog! going. There's no cover over there. Oh, there we go. It's not going to take much more before these people decide to start running. There we go. Alright, let's do that. Let's take a quick look. Do we want any of these people? Um, you can't firefight. You're jealous, which is a little hard to deal with, but other than that, you're not terrible. Green Thumb is nice, too. Trigger happy. Too smart. I don't think we want another too smart person. No, they're too smart. So I think we might capture Tonadog. As long as you got no... Your one kidney has been destroyed. We can potentially get you another kidney, though. You've been here a long time. You might just die. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to quickly mark two of these for prisoners. Capture. 
Um, sea lion was a little tempting. Oh, you can't dumb labor. Never mind. So maybe green over here. You're too smart, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. But it's not terrible. Alright, let's grab you. We don't have a ton of food. Oh, uh, what I can do is tell um, Nikki Quartz over here that she can be a hunter again. Go and hunt those camels, please. But everyone else, we don't really care about them. And we're going to forbid their weapons. There we go. There they leave the map. Alright, let's see. How difficult are these people going to be? 99%. So we are going to just release you. Deadmate, uh, just strip them while we're looking at you. And you, 99%. So again, we'll just release you as well. Alright, so a bit of a moot point. Um, strip. They might steal a little bit of our food. They're certainly stealing a little bit of our doctoring time. But overall, not too bad. Arbez got hit again. Hopefully not too badly. Um, I don't remember you missing a right hand before. So Arbez is having a really bad time. Still, the, the, the Savant thing is actually really potent. And if we can get him some body parts, we might be okay. What are you doing, Arbez? You're tending to the dog. Just rest. Someone else will tend to the dog. Yeah, there we go. Tending to Arbez. I think he's going to go get some medicine. Or she. Dead mate is going to go get some medicine. Sea lion still bleeding to death. That's okay. Sandstone doors. That's fine. Sandstone walls. That's the camels we're going after. Master Oink. Oh, you don't have a bed, probably. Yeah. Neither is Nikki, Nikki right now, so that's not going to be good for our moods. Um, we can go and make that non-medical. I know, it might be... Here, Nikki. Run home. Nikki's too smart, so that's someone who's actually much more liable to snapping if they've had a really bad night. Also, dead mate, you can take a moment and trade over here. I don't think we've traded with these people yet. We can get survival meals. I think we'll hold off on that. Ooh, you're at decent price for medicine. And we can sell these bows that we're not going to use. Alright, that's okay. Oh, we don't have any money. One medicine. I forget, we do have lots of pemmican as well. Which I don't think is particularly tasty, but we can eat as is. I don't know where it, where it is. Oh, it's over here. Narbez, can you, like, haul this somewhere? Oh, and over here. Oh, it's... Oh, the people brought it with them. Nice. Okay. That's actually quite handy. That's a lot of food to be added to our little stockpile. These people haven't been released yet. Right. They need to heal their wounds before we release them. Some of them might break, which would be... Yeah, see, that's really annoying. Yeah, go and release Tona. Before she breaks as well. And then everyone else... Well, let's take a look at this door hit point. So we're gonna have to rebuild that, which is annoying. Get over here. We should just open it remotely. Alright, good shot. And... Come over here. Nope, 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 what are you doing? Shoot. Shot to death. There. Good! Let's rebuild the door. These can be, again, tough doors, that's fine. And they're not going to be prisoner rooms. Hopefully it didn't lead to a bad moodlet. Innocent prisoner died. What? They well, I guess they were no longer berserk. Fuck it. I don't care. <laughs> they were going to be released. It's her fault for going berserk. Like, if I'm going to release you, you know. Don't be like that. Strip these guys down. Make sure they don't get buried with their stuff. That's one of the nicest things about when you get the cremation up and running. Is you no longer get annoyed by, um having to strip these down so they don't get accidentally buried with stuff. There you go. More doors, more building of traps. 
Nikki's going to do a little bit more hunting here. What are you fleeing? That was weird. Yeah, put that out of its misery. There we go. One of them must have gone slightly berserk for a split second before it got shot down. Tona exited the map healthy, relationships are improving, which has pros and cons. I think you get attacked just as often, it just changes who attacks you. So you're more likely to get attacked by mechanoids or whatever. Which <laughs> isn't particularly brilliant. But what the hell. Uh, I think a lot of these... Oh, auto rename, rearm is on. I think a couple of jobs may have gotten cancelled here along the way. I'll have to revisit that. Unless people start like destroying traps now, that's a possibility. I won't bother with the rest of the wall. This is going to be good enough for now. Eat the pemmican. That's fine. And you're going to cook some meals. That's great. Love that. Actually, really, dead mate. Your construction queue. Well, prioritizing that earlier was fine, but now it's definitely correct for you to just go back down and focus primarily on cooking. That would be lovely. So we have beds again, which is great. We have a random dead body over here, which would be nice if someone brought that out of there. You're going to build the door. Could you maybe just um, prioritize burying this body so we don't have a dead body in our base? Thanks. Appreciate it. Room here is being kept nicely cold. Power situation is groovy. Um, yeah, we might want to restart our research soon. One of the things I would like to do is get auto doors up, especially if I'm going to be building a lot of stone doors. Stone auto doors still aren't the fastest, but they're not bad at that point. Why does it say unroofed one? So outdoors, unroofed one. By building here, did it set up like um, a roofing order? It might have. No roof area. Don't don't waste any time roofing this area. Nor here. Uh, or here. Or where any of the plants are. Just in case. Never roof any of this stuff. Thanks. I don't know. I think we're okay. Now, these traps take surprisingly long to build. And yeah, finish that. That's a door. I just want to make sure there's another path for my people so they don't do anything weird. Um, you were removing roofs. So yeah, some roofs did get built over here. So we're going to waste a bunch of time... Doing this some more, which is good, because at some point I might have planted some stuff here and then not realized. What? Another raid? Pirate sappers? Are you kidding me? Tunnel through my dis Oh, for frack's sakes, there's only four of me! Come on, game! Why you gotta be like that? Um, well, let's try to get in position. Molotovs. Okay, down. Actually, a lot of people are running up to melee. Oh, barehanded as well. So that's good. Having two of them out so quick is going to affect the rate. Ooh, Master Wink, why don't you run away? You're going to consume a fine meal. No, 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 dude. Run over here. Get out of there. That's not fire, but it didn't actually hurt anyone. Everyone's being shotgunned. You know what? In my mind. No! Shoot from there. What the fuck are you using? Incendiary launcher. Wow. I'm gonna let Nikki shoot and then move up. There we go. Finally, they're fleeing. Alright. Put out the fire. Go get medicine, eat some meals. You're gonna beat that fire out. Hey, what? Just strip that. I know you need you need medicine, but and then strip that, and then eat a meal. And I'm gonna make another medical bed here. Just encourage people to get in there, seek treatment. Where's dead mate? Dead mate, you need to prioritize medicining people, please. 
I mean, Arbez has already had enough of a hard time. Uh, which means I guess we need to rebuild this. That's actually kind of a high priority. Sandstone wall. And actually, you know what? I'm going to sandstone door. And then I'm going to get another wall here and another door. And another escape pod! Game's like, no, no, you want another person. Iron Wield is really good. Neurotic is... Actually, we're still ahead on Mental Break Threshold, and then we get the increased work speed. You can't firefight, but you can do everything else. You've got no permanent injuries. Nikki, go and rescue Smith. Um, or not rescue, actually. We want to capture. So mark that as a prisoner bed. Capture Smith. We've got, actually, a decent amount of meal, of food, especially with a pemmican, which is going to be good. we will run out of, like, normal beds here, but that's going to come soon. There we go. So we can make this a, uh, or just a regular bed again. We still have someone who's injured, but it's not too bad. And we're going to have to make sure to... Do we want to use some of our precious medicine? Well, actually, I don't think we've got any more precious medicine. So it's a bit of a moot point. We're literally out. We have one medicine left, and we're not going to use it on the prisoner here. Uh, if we had herbal, you can use that. You're going to try to chat and recruit this person, is what we're going to do. And... Make it a normal bed. Because deadmate... Okay, deadmate's there, and is being treated. Wonderful. Whew! Well, we're going to put a cut in here. That was a dramatic couple of bits. Get these doors set up, and yeah, with the double wall, just try to make it a little bit less enticing for people to run through there, uh, as opposed to going through Trap Central over here, which is definitely preferable. So these are going to get rearmed at some point. Someone just has to get around to it. I can't remember if it's a haul. It's like, I think it's a hauling job to rearm them. And really, we've got enough hauling jobs as is. Pemmican, yeah, lasts forever, even unrefrigerated, which is fan frickin tastic How's your puppy doing? Left eye, permanent gunshot injury. Doug's been hit a lot. A lot, a lot. But hopefully, will still be with us for a while. The hauling is useful. I mean, we're spending a lot of effort feeding this dog, but the extra hauler is nice. And it keeps um, Nikki a little happier. So that's really good. Take a look at your needs. Vladlina's master. Even Vladlina's not around. Very low expectations. Attended wedding. That is really helping to balance things out. Especially with the innocent uh, prisoner dying. Still got the ugly environment. Um, if we can get people to spend more time sort of indoors where it's pretty. And that's going to happen as we get our production center up. Um, and what we're going to have to do is separate out our, um, our storage. Because a lot of this is probably quite ugly. Actually, it looks like the clothes is okay, but yeah, it's the raw resources are considered to be very, very ugly. So we'll want a separate storage room. Probably, I can at least plan it now. I don't know if we're going to take the time to mine it. But another storage room here. Just do 9x9 nine nine is okay. I don't remember how the coverage of the, um, the beacon is, but I'm pretty sure 9x9 nine nine is pretty good. There's like a little bit of overkill outside, but I think this gets it all. It could be that like the four corners don't get covered by the beacon. But that's hardly the end of the world. So this becomes sort of like your raw storage place. And this becomes your manufacturing and maybe a finished goods product thing. Or, or you know, you even get another stockpile and sort of an oddly shaped one over here or something. We'll play that one by ear. But I'm going to wrap this up now. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.